Hello everyone, I'm here with Jing Tian, the washing machine. One of the funnest guardians in Duel. Uh, yeah, just wanted to make some announcements. Uh, A, uh, I know I haven't been posting much for the Guardian Gauntlet, but like, after seriously looking at some of the item changes and how the map works, I, th I think we're gonna have a much more difficult time with the Guardian Gauntlet than than uh, last season because the issue is everybody can just kind of go and take all the buffs on the map and even with assassin's blessing and amazing clear some gods some guardians just don't have the mobility to keep up and it's just very difficult so some guardians thrive some don't um i'm not canceling the series i'm just putting it on a hold hopefully waiting on a shift in the meta but in the meantime i can still play the guardians that i i know and love that do great like uh, like Jing Tian, I love Jing Tian. He's amazing, and uh, Ardio Ardio's doing great in this. Any most guardians with escapes seem to be doing well. Mobility, that seems to be the underlying uh, theme. All right, we're going to start with Mage's Blessing Tier One Bancrofts. The Mage's Blessing is to just keep our mana sustain uh, good and well, and Bancrofts is for again sustain and power. Um. Now, normally, I don't have enough time, but normally I would ward here. That's the best place to ward to make sure they're not invading, because if they're not at their buff, chances are they're invading. But you don't know that because they could be going for their speed. It's a whole thing. Uh, yeah, this this map invading is so prominent because you can invade from any direction <laughs> and pretty much not be seen. You can invade from here, from here, from here. You can like invade from down here so it's just kind of a you got to think about whether they are a god that will invade or not he clears very fast what is this i'm against an aggressive merlin i've never i didn't know aggressive merlins existed most tower sit okay there's his flicker um, when he uses his one in fire form, I want to stun him out of it. If he changes, doesn't look like he's going to. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to. Never mind. I wanted to knock him up in it. He clears super fast. That's kind of crazy. Looks like I'm the tower sitter, huh, Marilyn? How the turntables. He's at full health, too. Cancel that. I mean, we do a decent amount of damage, but he's still alive. As much as I want to go and try and kill him. Wait, can I? Come out! Come on! Oh, I thought the movement speed would do it. Nope! Yeah, the movement speed did it! That movement speed let me get close enough. So, not a waste at all. He didn't beads, though. <laughs> it would have been nice if I got his beads. Only reason I went for that is because he used his escape and Merlin's blink. His Mer Merlin's flicker is like a 20 plus cooldown. Super long. If you see him use it, he can't, he's pretty much a sitting duck for a super long time. That's amazing. That's good. Alright, now we're heading back. Red buff is up. We can't take it right now because he's in lane, obviously. We still have potions. We're still doing good. I'm trying to clear the wave while also doing damage to him. It's kind of difficult. His escape's still down. Now, he's incredibly low on mana, so... If the more he wastes mana, the better. Uh, nope. Looks like he's planning on backing after this wave, which is fine. He backs, I get red buff. Cool with that. Place a ward to make sure he doesn't follow. Good stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys, too, that, uh, I wanted you all to be staying safe in, you know... This craziness that's happening around the world. I don't want to talk about it too much, but you know, just with just with the virus and how quickly it spreads, just to, you know, stay safe. Um, 
Uh, I know not everybody is able to self quarantine. Um, but, you know, for those that can't, you know, uh, you know, we're, I, I'm like, you know, you, you, that means you have jobs that are extremely necessary for society. And we're thankful for that, you know? Like, there's first responders, there's, you know, even, even retail workers are working at grocery stores. Like, those have to stay open for people to get food. And that's probably, that's probably the people that are having it the hardest. You gonna steal my buff? Wow, he's gonna steal my buff. Okay. Okay. Why the hell did my jump do that? Remember when they said they fixed Shin Tian jump? Hmm. I don't know. He's probably gonna steal my minis as well. If I were him, I would. He's basically just trying to slow me down since I took red buff. And by him stealing those, I'll probably steal his. I should be able to. Maybe anyways. Yep. Perfect. I will probably go get my speed buff after this wave. My speed buff is super far away, but it's the only buff up, so not taking it would be kind of stupid. Plus, move the speed's great, so. I'm so happy that Xing Tian can still jump over these walls. When I first saw this map, I thought the walls would be too thick for, for him to jump through, but apparently not. Don't want to use our ult unless his escape's down, because he can just flicker out of it. Got his beats. I bracered for mana there just to, to make sure that I could ult. Because getting his beads is huge, because next time he's pretty much guaranteed to kill. Okay, we cannot stay. We need to back. This is dangerous. This is extremely dangerous. Yeah, he's gonna get red buff. Rip. That's okay. I just don't have mana sustain. We'll get Genji, so that'll help with uh, mana sustain as well. We almost have Mage's Blessing involved. This this game's going well. Yeah, I've been winning a ton with Xing Tian lately. I love this skin because of that. <laughs> oh, he's stealing this again? Dude, don't you have something better to do? Oh my god, can they fix this leap? <laughs> he's gonna take his own blue buff now. So, he's just gonna be taking my blue buff every single time, which is pretty annoying. But hey, I'll just do what I can to... I'll do what I can, you know? I can't prevent him every time, but I can try. This next time my ult's up and he does not have beads. I don't have much cooldown, though. Or that much mana, because he took my mana buff. Oh, he's already getting defense, man. Why'd you have to take my buff, man? Merlin is very annoying. His escape should be down for quite some time. Yep, we're fine. Good, good, good. We're gonna recall. There's nothing for us to do up here. Everything is down. Um, I'll get, I'll get thorns. I, I mean, Link would be great, except that thorns is kind of, thorns is kind of needed against Merlin just because of the amount of damage he does. 
even though we're both magical, it still does a good amount of damage. Um, I could go Void as well. Hmm. Think about it. I think more damage is probably more necessary right now. Rip. Missing my ones. Kind of bad, because it's so much damage. There's his blink. Let's see if I can get his beads here. Got him! I bet you his flicker was almost up. I got his beads, I got the kill, and I timed it well so that his flicker was barely down. I bet you it was coming up right then and there. Perfect. Um, I don't know which buffs are up exactly. I believe red buff is coming up, so let's go and see if we can take that. Uh, my blue buff should be up as well. If I could secure that, that would be great since he's been taking it for me all game long. Good stuff. All right, this is going well, this is going well. All right, he does have finished Void. Um, I th I'll go Divine Rune, just to make sure he's not healing as much. That should be good. I should have used thorns earlier. That's my fault. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! I screwed up. I used my two a little... Like, I didn't hit the knock-up. I wanted it to cancel his one in fire stance. So I was a little worried there, but hey, it worked. That was amazing. We're doing great things. Now, if only I could take this tower. Huh. Struggles with a guardian. Come on, Merlin, don't be like that. All right, all right. I will have to stay for this wave, otherwise he will get my tower as well. Looks like he's getting a gem of ISO. A wing blade might be necessary. Not entirely sure yet. I will uh, prioritize a Divine Ruin first, though. We'll need a ward as well. All right, so this. Uh, let's get tier one wing blade. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't like wing blade too much because it doesn't give any protections or uh, power. Does give health, but health can only be so good. It's kind of like a luxury item. And it's pretty easy to proc as well. It's not like a bubble, though. Bubble, like, is so easy to proc, and then it's useless, you know? I, I think Wing Blade is better than bubble. In some situations, it depends who you're fighting. That's kind of a bad place, man. I should place it uh, more to the left. I might get a gem ISO as well if he's gonna run like that. I don't want to XP deny, but if we have to, we have to, you know. But right now we don't have to, so there's so much farm. Oh, he's still red buff. Okay. wanted him to use his beads there. That's unfortunate. No beads. He knew I, I was just doing that for the beads. Uh, Polly would be good. Just for taking the, the objective. And possibly, uh, possibly, possibly Bull Demon. The thing is that Merlin can steal Bull Demon super easy and then be completely safe. 
Is he going for that? Are you going for that? No, he's just placing wards, I think. Not even sure about that. Alright, he's kind of out of position here. Alright. Man, I, I kind of need more cooldown. Well, that's his beats. That's a win for me. I can't kill him, but hey, next time. I, I think we should either end it with a Typhons or a Kronos Pennant for the cooldown. Not entirely sure which one right now. I just know that that's probably the best idea. Does he have wards? He does not have wards. Does seem like he's a little paranoid about me taking, uh, taking Bull Demon. Don't want him taking red buff. All right, now he can't contest red buff. That's all I wanted. If he does, it's going to be extremely dangerous for him. Let me tell you. I don't have my ability up yet. All right, he just wants his blue buff. That's fine. Because Typhons would give us so much power and sustain, but if he's going to buy... Well, if he's going to buy and ruin, here's the thing about Typhons. It gives 40% increased healing from life still. So basically, my healing would be exactly what it is now, if not more. If he only gets to buy ruin. <clears throat> so it's like, it's not that bad. Maybe we'll want to make it look like we went for Bull Demon. Not 100% sure if he has Ward on it or not. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna go. All right. Well, this is gonna be annoying. I don't have enough damage to uh, keep him from uh, keep him from doing that. He does have a sentry. He didn't even place it. So I'm actually gonna get a, get a sentry. We'll see where he places it. I think Chronos Bennett is right call. The more I ult, the uh, the uh, less safe he can be. Late game Merlin is super scary though, and that's pretty pretty much where we are. All right, keep an eye on that sentry. We're gonna use our wards to tell where he places it. He still has it. He's placing it right on Bull Demon. Perfect. Get his beads. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. No one out wards me. He's gonna recall, get another sentry. I'm gonna get another sentry too. I have nothing to lose. I'm ahead in gold, I'm ahead in farm. If we keep playing this, I'll get even more ahead in gold. <clears throat> he does not have a sentry on him though. I don't think you've realized just how hard it is for me to take a uh, bull demon. <laughs> Looks like he wants to steal this, maybe. Nah. The thing is, if he gets one kill, he can take Tower Phoenix pretty easy, because Merlin passive applies bonus damage to Phoenix. I can't ult. Rip. That'd be a good time to ult right there.
Oh, my minion waves right here. Let's go. The perfect time to kill. What's he getting? What's his last item? I, it could be Krill's pet, it could be double defense, it could be... Could be so many things, could be Soul Reaver. He has so many options to go into. But, it might be just game. I have a lot of minions. But, again, I'm a guardian. <laughs> again, I'm a guardian. If this, if I was Berlin, this Titan would be dead. Ah, uh, the disadvantages of playing a guardian. What you getting? Oh, he didn't even get his, sec his last relic. I mean, his last item. At this point, I think we're pretty much good to go. His Titan's half health. He can't really defend it as well. As long as I don't make do something really stupid, we should be okay. So very carefully, through distancing and our ultimate, we're able to slowly take this game from him. I think the key was pretty much just that our ult gives movement speed. So we're able to close the distance with our three and our ult whenever it flickers away and we either force his speeds or force a ton of damage. And if his speeds are down, he can't do that next time, which puts him in an even more dangerous position. See, if I had a blink, then I could have probably killed him there. Blink is, blink is very good. Red buff is about to be up. I don't know if I'll go back for it. I'll try to end the game here, and if I can't, then I'll go get red buff. He, did, he just changed stats, which means he can't change stats again for a little while. Get his beads. Use thorns. Upgrade bracer. Oh, I didn't use my two in time. But, I mean, Titan is so low. That game? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> that's not game? Alright. You can't do anything with that, but that's that sucks. The the tick damage on my one, does that not apply to Titan? Enemies also take damage over time based on their maximum health. Well usually anything maximum health doesn't apply to like jungle boss or tight Titan. So I guess I don't know if Jing Tian does or doesn't. Um based on the amount of ticks. I'm gonna say it did not hit him, the tick damage. Wow! <laughs> Jing Tian tick doesn't apply to Titan. That or a minion exited the range right as it was about to damage it. I don't know either way. He got, he did get a Chronos Pennant. We should be fine. Oh, his Phoenix is about to be up though. That is troublesome. That is pretty troublesome. Uh, his beads are down though. We should be fine. We should be fine to end. Whether his Phoenix is up or not. Oh, but his red buff up? Might need that. No, he took it. Oh god, what if he comes back? That'd be the comeback of the century. He totally could with that phoenix up. I can't push with that wave, he's clearing it. I think my best bet is to go for Boldyman. Scare him into coming over here. And then just all in again. He changed stats to Void. Go, go, go. Void stats is doo-doo. Oh, but he has Chrome's Pennant too. Throw him into the tower. <gasps> oh my god. He barely got out of that. I can't. This is too risky. If I die here, I could lose the game. Wow, he's actually gonna come back! I get Void. Or Typhons. Oh, I don't know. All I know is I can't afford it right now. Move a speed buff would be huge here. Closing that distance. Oh, but now his beads are gonna be up this next engagement. Oh my god, I can't believe he's gonna come back. Just because I didn't take Titan properly. <laughs> I could have taken Titan, I didn't I didn't maximize my damage when I was taking it earlier. Okay, okay, late game Merlin. Got this. Blast. 
Okay, speeds. Perfect. Even with Polly, I wouldn't be able to take Phoenix. It's just he would be able to steal it so easy from long range and then just uh, be on his merry way. Like, there's a chance I would get it, but the risk is pretty high. Before, the risk wasn't as high because my tower was up, though. He just got his last item. Wow, how did you afford that? Oh, he's coming for red buff? I can't let him get this red buff. I gotta get it and then back for my last item. What? That didn't hit you? Oh god. How did that not hit you? I don't understand. He gets red buff. I don't get it. He gets red buff. That sucks. How was I not fast enough to get, get him my ult? Okay, either way we're selling this, getting this. Typhoons. I do think that is the, the answer here. Oh, but now I can't have... I have 80 seconds of my power potion. Okay. What sucks is he can take Bull Demon like, like that, you know? So, I'm doing my best, but he could sneak it so easy. I don't have a ward right now. I need to save up for power potion. I kind of don't want to fight him, but at the same time, I do. There we go, Thorns! Woo! <laughs> Look, how much did my alt do there? Uh, my alt did 833. Oh my god, nice. Yeah, Typhus gave me additional pen. Gave me so much power because at low health, Bancroft gives more lifesteal and Typhus gives double power the amount of lifesteal you had. So imagine getting 100 bonus power from Bancroft and then how much bonus power would I get from the lifesteal? You would get a bonus 40 power, so 140 power win at low health wow that is insane <laughs> i mean plus and then plus the base stats base stats 15 percent life still that's another 30 power from typhoons it's insane gg well played that was a great game it was, was kind of nerve-wracking that he almost came back actually it's gg man uh yeah but uh the garden gauntlet again is not cancelled it's just on hold um i'm still gonna be uploading videos because i don't want you guys to be without content uh stay safe everyone and have a good day